Well, on the subject of old CM Punk, he's at Cauliflower Alley. He and yeah, yeah, the banquet, the banquet tonight, um, yeah. and they're giving him the Mike Mazurki Award, which is their number one award. Yep, and, yep. Uh, and he's, uh, he's I, I know he's going to Terry Funk's funeral on Friday, which, um, but um, I, you know, I wanted to go and I can't go. I'm kind of bum- I'm kind of bummed. I'm like really kind of bummed, but such is life. Well, he has been uh, suspended, as has been Jack Perry. And uh, they're both off of the All Out show. CM Punk was going to wrestle Ricky Starks. That is off. And, and I don't know what Jungle Boy was going to do, actually. I don't either. If but anything. Uh, it, I mean, this is certainly teased. You know, they, they outright teased that, that, that uh, Ricky Starks is going to wrestle Ricky Steamboat in a strap match. Yeah, they basically said that on collision he's going to call him out for a strap match. Yeah, my gut is is that it probably won't happen, and that somebody will probably uh, be in that position. I don't know who it would be. Um, when I look at guys, I mean, Adam Page has nothing on the show, so it's uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, I mean, if there's a fill in, that would be a guy. There's probably other guys, but uh, you know, that's. Um, it's it's. I'll tell you what, man. They um, they got a pay per view on Sunday, and they do have a, a, you know eight matches, so they have matches. But boy, are they out of nowhere! And the one that is just unbelievable. Well, we'll talk about it later. But it's the tag, t- the RH tag team title. Well, ticket. you know, I will say this. Normally, we wait to do spoilers till the end of the show. But uh, in this instance, I'll just tell you all right now. This is going to be spoilers for Rampage because we have to talk about this card and the show is Sunday and so um that's your warning. So here we go. This oh, is, okay, so so well, MJ, this is the lineup, M- okay? MJF and Adam Cole are defending the Ring of Honor tag team titles against John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Yes. I have no w- words for that. Now, you know, they they may very well have a good match, but my God, you know, Max in a pay-per-view against Alex Reynolds and John Silver. Yes. I mean, it's just, it blows my mind. That's all I'll say. But, well, here know. is the, uh, let's look at the whole lineup here, and then we can talk about it as a whole. We got uh, Luchasaurus, Darby Allen for the TNT title. We knew about that. Miro and yeah. Powerhouse Hobbs. Yeah, which they did, the, they, you know, they've been, they, they've been building that up for weeks. They even did an angle in, uh, in London for them, yeah. Chris, I'm, I'm, which was b- before the show, which is which is kind of funny. You're doing a pay per view angle, um, you know, and, and, and you know um, before like even the pre show starts. But you know, and no one in the United States is seeing it, seeing the angle. But they did it. You know, I guess the European fans saw it. There's probably more. You know, there were a lot of viewers in that uh, audience. But my God, you know. But they'll they'll I'm sure that they'll do something with that on Saturday. Got Chris Statlander versus Ruby Soho for the TBS title. Which is a match, and it's, uh, you know, it's a match. Got Kenny Omega and Takeshita in a singles match. So they were going to do stuff to build that up tonight, but um, because of the hurricane, uh, Kenny Omega didn't make it. A lot of the Florida people, you know, tonight's show was was totally redone at the last minute because um, Soraya and um, um, Swerve, were pulled from the show for illness reasons. And I know a bunch of the Florida guys, including Omega, because of the hurricane, couldn't get into, couldn't get out of uh, Florida to come to Chicago. Um, I know Jericho obviously was there. I know that there was concern about Jericho not being there, but but he was there. So um, that was one of the reasons why the show, um, you know, it, it seemed thrown together because it was thrown together. We got the uh, yeah, Omega we'll Takeshita to match. We got uh, Bullet Club Gold, Austin, Colton, Jay White, and Juice against Cash, Dax, and the Young Bucks. I mean, they did. Which, they if did. you remember at the pay per view, uh, the Bucks were offered a handshake and they walked out on him. And so they, they shot an angle on the show where they FTR basically said, you know, why didn't you shake our hands? And the answer was, ah, heat of the moment. <laughs> that that was it, and now they're going to team up together and uh, face Bullet Club Gold. Well, I mean, action wise, that should be a good match. But again, like, you know, that's a, to me, that's like a TV match more than a pay per view match. Um, 
you know, you got the the tag champs. If you know, I mean, it'd be better on the pay per view to me to have like you know, do a do a three way. You know, I mean, you could do FTR Bucks and and Jay and Juice. Um, you know, because FTR and the Bucks, you know, like they. Um, I mean, you could do that, or and even a four way if you put the guns in. Although that waters the match down, and there'd be more interest in that than than this eight man tag. I know the uniqueness of. FTR and the Bucks teaming up is there and it's a bridge to go somewhere in the sense that they could probably not get along and and do another match, you know, on another pay-per-view and and, and that that makes sense. Um but you know, to me that should be on if you're going to do it that way, that should be on TV. The pay-per-view should have a, a a tag title match, especially this pay-per-view. You know, when you're trying to get people to buy, you know, a second pay-per-view um, a week after the biggest show in, in company history, um, you know, not having the tag team titles on the line and, and having, you know, the Young Bucks in this kind of a match as well, it's it's not, you know, I'm just I'm just surprised. And we've got uh, Samoa Joe Shane Taylor. And I mean, for those be... of you for those of you unaware, by the way, to explain this, they did do a multi week tournament on Ring of Honor on Honor Club, where uh, Shane Taylor, Serpentico, Daniels, J.D. Drake, Tony Nese, Cheeseburger, Gravity, and Anthony Henry were all in a tournament. Shane Taylor beat Gravity in the finals, and that's why he is in storyline getting this shot against Samoa Joe. Now, if you have not been watching Ring of Honor, Honor Club Television, you would have no idea of any of this. It just and came out of and, nowhere and, here and, tonight. And, and they didn't and they didn't explain it. No. And um I mean They'll probably have a good match, but yeah, to most people, Shane Taylor hasn't even been on television. They, you know, so it's like it's a it's a cold match for a a pay per view. Then we got uh, Eddie Kingston and Shibata versus Claudio and Wheeler, a tag team. Which, match. which again, that 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 should, that should that should be a good match. This feels like a a uh, a glorified edition of Dynamite. Is what actually this it feels like. Feels like. Ring, actually, it feels like a Ring of Honor pay per view. Can do a ring of honor pay per view. Now here's the thing about but, the pay per view. But, but Claudio's not even defending the title, so I can't even say that the world title, the uh, ROH world title, none of these are being defended on the show. The ring of honor tag team. The, ta- the, ta- the tag team title is. But, but, but the the big question here is, what is the main event? And I think there are two options, and that well, is either the, it, Omega and Takeshita or Orange Cassidy and John Moxley. And given that Omega and Takeshita has no title on the line. And especially after you watch the last 10 minutes of the show tonight, I think that Moxley and Orange Cassidy should headline this pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't... Um, I mean, Orange Cassidy did a great promo. So, um, and, I mean, his his title reign has been long, and I expect a title change. No one's told me I think that. that that's kind of the thing is, is, you know, if you are buying all out... It is possible that you will see a historic moment, which is the end of Orange Cassidy's title reign. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to do it, but you you certainly, if you buy the pay-per-view, you could get that. So I think that that is as big, big a hook, or a bigger hook than almost anything else on the show, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean, like you said, like the only two hooks are that and Omega and Takeshita. That's pretty much Those it. are the two main event. Because, listen, I, I just don't think you can do well, Dark Order against MJF and Adam Cole as the main event of the show. No, no. and and But but Stark, you know, if, if they're going to throw somebody in there with Starks, but it's a cold match. And I guess using Steamboat in some form to get there. I guess we'll just wait and see Saturday night, like how they put all that together. Because um, I'm still not know. sure who you could put in there where it would be a bigger match than Moxley and Cassidy well, or you, Takeshi you, and Omega. You do, if you do a, a great storyline and angle. I mean, I... I it wouldn't be bigger than Moxley and um, Cassidy. Well, and, that yeah, should main be. event then. That's the point. Yeah, that should be the main event. Yeah, um, it'll be interesting. I mean, it is an it is an experiment to see you know if this works. You know that um, if the pay per view doesn't do well, it's not like they won't have had an incredible, an incredibly successful week because they could do no pay per view buys. Um, and they're still going to do a million dollar gate or close to a million dollar gate, um, you know, and, you know, obviously the, uh, you know, the Wembley speaks for itself across the board. I mean, the biggest show in company history by leaps and bounds. I'm calling it down granny's memory lane. Are you reading from your memoirs? 
Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up to date. You know, I'm I more... see. Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just. No, said. no, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> the <laughs> New Testament. Everyone let her go. We lived on a farm 10 miles east of Baker. <laughs> more <Yeah>. recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my you, mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martells and Hebes. Hebes? Was Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.